We'll talk about factory, th okay. factory, and okay. we'll talk I about Ken Gas. Okay. And as we both know, there was a disagreement between Ken and his board. Ken, who founded the theater and then returned to the theater and then who rescued the theater, there was a disagreement between him and his board, and the disagreement led to his firing. The community reacted quite strongly, mm -hmm. uh, verbally, and with a boycott. I do want to, I do want to read this because this is. I want to read this because this is this is very George, and it sort of. It does encapsulate the kind of passion and logic and the willingness not to be in control all the time, which then gives us an authenticity that you can't buy. Suppose Ken doesn't return to the factory. Imagine. Hard to imagine, but let's just say. First of all, imagine what kind of slick opportunist or gormless fool would apply to replace someone who was dismissed in this manner. How many theater workers of conscience and integrity will want to labor there under this board? There won't be anyone to stand up to them, except the slick opportunist or the gormless fool, both the toadying type, take my word for it. But maybe the board will even come to the dress rehearsals and they'll give notes, passed along, of course, by the slick or garmous fool or opportunist for the sake of appearance. You think I'm kidding? You think it can't happen? Then do a little research about other other boards have operated in similar circumstances. Or ask me sometimes. It's not easy to run a theater. It's not easy to run the factory. It has a very courageous but limiting mandate. Just Canadian plays. Mostly new. Six, eight, ten of them every year. No resurrecting of much beloved British or American play for a little breather. Just the exhilarating slog of a new play birth. Now, try to imagine putting together season after season, honoring that mandate with mostly very good and often outstanding results. It takes a special person to do that. And that person has to be adventurous, patient, supportive, humble, brave, resilient, and a lot of other things. That person is not on this board. That person is not a slick, garmless, opportunistic fool or any other kind of lesser being who might apply for the job under the circumstances. So imagining that future and the withering on the vine death of the factory soon to follow, the board has to go. Ken has to stay. And he has to stay, and he has to stay until he's ready to leave. One year, three, whatever having a had, had a hand in selecting his patient and supportive and brave successor. Because seriously, now, imagine the future without him. And I had to keep this brief because I've been seething with sleep-denying anger since Ken was fired, and I'm losing my ability to type. My fingers pound the keyboard, and my laptop shakes. Yeah, I was pretty mad. So, <laughs> you were mad. Yeah. But it's uh, unvarnished naked truth about something. Well, that's the only way I could respond. I can't, I, people were writing these uh, very well thought out uh, things and it's structured properly and I don't have anything like that in me. It's times like this, I just have uh, just what I'm feeling and thinking. And they, you know, it's sort of like free form. I'm like, I, it's like my, it's like I, Andrew Thompson is inside my head or something. It's like, it's just that, you know, I can't do anything else. I can't sit down, here's the history of this. You know, I just want to go right to it, you know. Because I don't think it was a disagreement. I think it was a power grab, and I think it was a power grab by from the board, from the board, and the artistic director. Yeah, they wanted them gone so they could do what they want. There's a few people on there that just for some crazy reason. I mean, a 300 seat theater. They think it's like the center of the cultural universe, and they thought they should have some power. And just petty people doing stupid stuff, and there were some internal wrong-headed people in the on staff who kind of uh, you know who kind of uh, helped them do it. It, it does just, make the question, who does the theater belong to? Well, it does beg that question. And I think that... I mean, who does it belong to? Well, it doesn't belong to the board. You know, it probably belongs to a lot of people. In this particular instance, it belongs to Ken. I have no problem saying that. People mm -hmm. say, well, it can't belong to an individual. I say, I sure can. He comes back and he resurrects, he saves it, he can have it. Until he doesn't want to have it anymore. You know, that's okay. He said, you know, I mean, I, I look at everything. Every issue as it comes up, you know. Maybe generally speaking, it doesn't belong into it. In, to any one person. In this case, it sort of did, in a way, e emotionally and every, in every other way. He was, uh, uh, it, uh, their criticism of him involved ageism and all sorts of other things, you know, that he was, they were looking for some young person to do all the stuff that he was already doing. He was bringing in voices, two voices, the two people who replaced him, he brought in. He, he nurtured them 
and uh, and young companies. He did that. He he was the first one to do the serious, uh, you know, uh, and the, from the African Canadian community and very. He he was doing all that stuff. They they seemed to imply that he wasn't, and therefore they had to bring in the voice. It wasn't about that at all. So your pr your your argument with that board is about your loyalty to Ken and his past record or about the policy and the structure of who actually owns our theaters and who who is responsible for them and it's both really it's all you know it's all of them all of a piece in that sense you know it's like a, I have no argument with boards per se if they kind of act responsibly and, and understand that they have a res that they ha that there should be limits whether they're in, whether they're actually written in the in the in, 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 in the laws of a board whatever they are now or not they should be they should be reasonable and they should be some consultation.